Hey guys, what's up? Eric Tanner, www.paravenum.com, or I should probably say hola, since we're taking a trip down to Spain today, uh, Spain and Portugal. I'm in Destin, Florida, just got done doing what I like to do the most, and that's visit new wine shops. I uh, went to Wine World here in Destin, Florida, and met with a really young wine associate. Uh, he's probably like in his 24 or 25 uh, years of age, I guess. And uh, he's really taken off with the wine. He, he was really knowledgeable and uh, pretty much was able to ask every question that I asked him. Uh, I wanted to try something new, some different grapes. I was just, you know, being at the beach, I'm just kind of in the mood to try something new today. So uh, I wanted to try something from Portugal. He was honest, he said he never had it, and it was their only wine from Portugal in their wine shop. So uh, I'm gonna give that one uh, right off the bat. The other two are uh, from Spain. So we're gonna try the, uh, this one from Portugal. It's made by the Symington family. Uh, the Symington family is mainly known for making really great port wines. They've been in production with uh, like Juarez and some other uh, leading port uh, producers. And uh, they decided that uh, they also wanted to, to make a family vineyard um, and do just two table wines. So um, without further ado, let's give this a, a taste. I've already poured it. My wife poured it for me, actually. Uh, the color is uh, just a, a purple, purple ruby, red color. It smells like dirty socks and pond water. This is the second wine I've had um, this week that has that smell. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm having like a, something on with my nose, but it, it really does smell like that, that wet socks pond water, except the wine that I had la earlier in the week was just fantastic. It was, it was an incredible wine. I'm actually going to do a video on it. it. It was really fantastic. So hopefully this is a good sign. Maybe the pond water and wet socks is a good sign today. We'll see. To Portugal. Well, unfortunately, I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, this is only a $9 bottle of wine, so I'm not too disappointed. Uh, I think you can get a lot better deals, a lot better values. This uh, has no backbone. Um, uh, the taste characteristics are, are just a, a very weak, almost like a watered-down cranberry juice is kind of what I'm getting, maybe just faint cranberry. I'm really not getting a lot of fruit, a little alcohol coming forward, uh, lacking on the finish. I'm not getting anything right now. I'm not getting any tannins, and I'm not getting any wow factor. Um, yeah, just table wine. I guess if uh, it's not terrible, but for $9, I could probably go to Australia or California, get something a little bit better. Uh, a little disappointed in, in the, uh, the Altano Duro. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. Because uh, the last one I had that was, uh, I had the wet socks taste. Uh, was ended up being really fantastic. I'm just gonna throw that off the balcony. That's how bad it is. Hopefully there was nobody down there to receive that. It's raining wine. All right, so next up we're going with uh, Membrilia. Uh, not even sure if I pronounced that right, from Spain. It's made of 100% Bobao. Uh, Bobao is, is a creative grape. Uh, it, it's really only uh, in Utel Ricana, which is uh, Valencia, Spain. Uh, Bobao, uh, the, um, that would be Latin for bull's head because the grape kind of resembles the shape of a bull's head. So um, let's give it a shot. I haven't tried it, haven't smelled it, haven't tasted it, never had it before. But this is one that he recommended. He said he's had, he said he loves it. Um, and he was excited to, uh, excited for me to buy it. So I'm excited to drink this one. The first one was a gamble and we lost. Same color as the last one, it's that kind of purple, more purple than red. It's, it's not, not as black and dark. It's again, just like that purple ruby color. Oh, really fantastic. Oh, it smells just like a flower shop. Maybe, maybe almost like, uh, like flowers and candy, like taffy. I smell a lot of taffy, like, uh, like, like the sticky taffy that you eat when you're a kid. Mm. No, oh, there we go. Starting to have some taste characteristics, something to make me smile. Um, really nice tannins on this one. Really coat in the mouth. Uh, what I like to say, a chewy wine. Uh, really tasting, really heavy strawberries right now. A little bit of blueberries, but just a real smoky, kind of like a leather. Just a real leather. Chew, this is a fantastic wine. I don't even know how much I paid for it. I think it was under 20 bucks, but this is exciting. This is something to talk about. 
uh, blueberries, uh, real strong on the strawberries, but just a really leather, uh, dusty taste afterwards. Just really leathery, almost clay, clay-like taste characteristics. And, and it's still going, very lengthy finish here. And things are just popping out at me. Um, I don't get any of that taffy though, uh, and, and I. Uh, but I do get just this really overwhelming, really overwhelming blueberry, blueberry strawberry, almost like blueberry strawberry yogurt. Like when you when you get it all mixed up and you get towards the bottom, really good, fun wine, really awesome. Bow Bow, good grape, good wine. Mimbrilia 2013, under 20 bucks, good wine. All right, so this next one right here, um, this is the uh, Coachello. Uh, this is a really fun wine. Uh, just by looking at the bottle, I haven't had it yet. This is another one that he picked out, said all of his customers liked it in the wine tasting. But it's made of 40% Monastrau, which is actually Mouvedre. It's just, a, it's just Mouvedre in a different, it's like Syrah, Shiraz, same, same grape. Monastrau is, is Mouvedre. Uh, it's also got Tempranario, Syrah, and Cabernet Sauvignon. It's only got 10% Cab. 20% uh, Syrah and 30% uh, Tempranello. So this should be a fun wine bottle of wine as well. I'm excited to try it. He was excited to, to have me try it. So let's give it a taste. So a little bit different color than the last ones. I'm just going to raise my glasses here to make sure I'm not seeing something funky here. But um, this is almost more of a brownish red, brownish purple, a little bit different than the other ones here. Not as purple, kind of more of a rusty brown color. Wow, black pepper, paprika. Oh, it, it just almost tastes like a like like one of those seafood, uh, you know, seafood rubs. Just pepper, paprika. Just a lot of spices going on in there. Maybe a little bit of cinnamon, as well. Man, it's, it's uh, funky on the nose. A lot different than the re the other three of these on the nose. Completely different. Okay, so wow, very peppery, very spicy. Um, if you can imagine maybe like plums and rose petals with, with pepper and cayenne pepper spread on out on it. Um, wow, what a, what a fantastic uh, difference and change. And, and that's the cool thing about going to a wine shop, uh, a local wine shop and just getting, getting grapes that you've never had and getting things that you haven't experienced because going from this boba, which is just really lush strawberry blueberry now i'm going over here to just something that's like completely off the grid completely different you know, we're getting pepper cayenne uh just this weird plum um like almost dried raisin slash apricot with peppers it's, it's just unbelievable maybe uh on the on the finish it's still going here kind of getting a little green pepper maybe a little yellow pepper as well but if you could just smell this it literally smells like one of those seafood rubs where it's just really strong, uh, just that real strong pepper spice smell. Mmm. How fun. It's going to be a wild night tonight. Anyway, guys, thanks again for joining me on www.paravenum.com. Uh, remember, try a different grape. Try something new, something you never had to have before. Go to your local wine shop, man. Seek out something new. Get away from the same old stuff, the same old shop. Uh, go to your wine associate, ask them, pick their brains, go home, research before you drink your wine, and, and then enjoy it and have a good time with it. All right, guys, I'm getting back to the beach, getting back to my family. It's beautiful out here in Destin, Florida. Again, Eric Tanzi, www.paravenum.com. Until next time, cheers.